Have you ever wondered why time seems to fly when you're having fun but drags when you're bored? Well, let's dive into the mysteries of space and time. Imagine space-time as a four-dimensional fabric, a cosmic quilt if you will, that forms the foundation of our reality. But here's the kicker. Time is not a constant. Unlike your wristwatch might suggest, it's a dimension that can stretch and shrink. It's like a cosmic rubber band, expanding and contracting in response to the universe's whims. And this isn't just some high-minded philosophical concept, it's a fundamental part of physics, as real as gravity or light. So when you're stuck in a boring meeting, time seems to stretch out, while it races by during a thrilling roller coaster ride. This is the ever-fluid nature of time. So if time can stretch and shrink, can space do the same? Let's find out in the next scene. What if I told you that the very ground beneath your feet is bending the fabric of space and time? Well, it's true. Every object with mass, from the smallest pebble to the largest star, affects the space-time around it. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a trampoline. It's flat and taut, representing our three-dimensional space. Now if you put a bowling ball in the middle of the trampoline, what happens? It sinks down, right? It creates a dip or a curve in the trampoline. This is how mass impacts space-time. The more massive the object, the deeper the curve. So, a planet like Earth makes a bigger dent in space-time than a small asteroid, and a star makes an even bigger dent. This is why when smaller objects come near these massive ones, they don't just go in a straight line, they start to move along the curve. This bending and curving effect is what we experience as gravity. It's not that the Earth is pulling objects towards it in a straight line, but rather, objects are following the curved path in space-time that Earth's mass has created. This explains why planets orbit stars and why the Moon orbits Earth. They're all just following the dips and curves in space-time created by more massive objects. To put it simply, mass tells space-time how to curve, and that curve tells objects how to move. This is the essence of Einstein's general theory of relativity, a revolutionary idea that reshaped our understanding of the universe and the forces at play within it. So, the heavier the object, the more it bends space-time. But what happens when you have an object with an immense amount of mass? Enter Albert Einstein, the man who dared to imagine a universe where space and time are intertwined. Einstein, a patent clerk turned physicist, proposed a radical idea that would forever alter our understanding of the cosmos. His theory of relativity, a groundbreaking hypothesis, suggested that space and time were not separate entities, but were instead a single, interconnected fabric known as space-time. This theory painted a picture of a universe that was far from static. Instead, it was a dynamic, ever-evolving cosmos, bending and warping under the influence of massive objects like stars and planets. The larger the mass, the greater the distortion, creating what we now know as gravitational fields. Einstein's revolutionary idea shook the foundations of physics, challenging centuries-old beliefs and prompting a paradigm shift in our perception of reality. Space was no longer a passive stage where cosmic events unfolded, it was an active player in the grand cosmic ballet. Einstein's theory not only reshaped physics, it reshaped our understanding of reality itself. You might be thinking, that's all very interesting, but what does it have to do with me? Well, Einstein's theory has some surprisingly practical implications. Let's take GPS technology as an example. Our global positioning system relies on satellites orbiting the Earth, constantly sending signals back and forth. Now, if we didn't account for the bending of space-time caused by Earth's mass, these signals would travel in straight lines, and your GPS coordinates would be off by several kilometers. Imagine trying to find your favorite coffee shop and ending up in the middle of nowhere. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we understand that the paths of these signals are curved, not straight. This understanding allows us to make the necessary corrections, ensuring that your GPS gets you to your destination accurately. So next time you use your GPS, remember, you have Einstein and his revolutionary theory to thank for your accurate directions.